good afternoon uh, to the viewers. Uh, if you uh, watch it later, good wherever part of the day, it's an honor uh, to welcome in the debate uh, Yanis Sever, uh, the author uh, of uh, the film Antigon, How Dare We? And uh, we will have a debate about the film and maybe about broader context, uh, which it brings, as usually as uh, films with such a topics, uh, brings an opportunity to talk not only about, uh, about the film itself. Uh, welcome in the debate. Maybe I would start with a small detail, which is a little bit aside of the film, but uh, 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 you... It, it, there is a one line uh, with uh, Slavoj Žižek, Slovenian philosopher, uh, worldwide wide known in your film. And Slavoj Žižek is surprisingly speaking in English. Does it have some special reasons? Once, for example, Antigone passages, the theater passages, or I mean, stage passages are uh, in, in your language. Yes, well, it's uh, it's well. There are a few reasons. Antigone actually uh, was written in English. Uh, Slava wrote it in English, and uh, since we wanted to make a movie that uh, would be viewed by international uh, public. Uh, I somehow um, figured that uh, if Zizek uh, is speaking in English, it will be much more convenient. Uh, of course, we um, enacted his uh, drama in the movie with Slovene actors, so uh, uh, of course we, uh, I decided to uh, use Slovene translation of uh, the, his drama. So that would be in short. Maybe once we are we once we are in the, with his uh, his personality, uh, is he uh, somehow part of Slovenian life nowadays? Uh, because he was more before he was more in the uh, United States, but is he more present in uh, also Slovenian context? Uh, well, Slava. Uh travels here and there and of course uh, but he's somehow involved in Slovene uh, intellectual scene of course uh, and from time to time uh, also uh, in Slovene politics mm -hmm. he he sometimes uh, signs some mm -hmm. petitions uh, speaks about uh, politics uh, Otherwise, I think, and publishes an interview or text in Slovene magazines, but otherwise, I, I really think he is more uh, intertwined with uh, world stage than with Slovene, uh, I would say. Yeah, I understand. Your film also deals finally with a kind of world stage, uh, so it's uh, in a way uh, appropriate. Can you? Uh, and and it's it's uh, uh, Zizek's uh, thesis, for example, the, the, his interpretation of history, this uh, metaphorical idea that there is there are changing the ages of Oedipus and Antigone and Oedipus, and uh, this kind of and also you are uh, uh, you are opening the film with this he Hegelian uh, quote yes. that basically history is not kind of teaching history is not. Uh, taking or not the history people are responsible for let's say political um, act action are not taking lessons from the history so finally it falls into kind of um, living in the myth uh, what can you say a little bit about genesis of the film that uh, because this uh, crucial observation or uh, Zizek's interpretation of the history of these two changing patterns is a crucial for your film. Was it this idea which was initial thing or you were... Initially I wanted to make parallels between 
uh, Zizek's drama heroes, which are the same heroes as Sophocles heroes, but uh, Zizek put them in different uh, endings. Uh, with uh, what's going on in today's world, uh, especially in politics. Uh, but uh, then I think the idea kind of expanded. Uh, it's not just politics, it's uh, everything that's going on around us. And of course, uh, from uh, film is about democracy, about uh, revolution, about uh, how to step out of the system and not repeating the other, the system and uh, building a new system. What does that mean? Uh, of course, this quote that we don't uh, learn from history is somehow empirical now. It's uh, in the generations uh, after the Second World War, were acting very differently from the generations that um, rule the world now. Uh, I think that, that uh, really the, the cataclysms of uh, 20th century have um, seems like they have been forgotten. And uh, we are entering the new uh, circle of, uh, let's say, revolutions that are not yet there, but you can see them coming. Uh, they're all over the world and uh, practically no, there's none, there's not a society that isn't, uh, I'd, I'd say, uh, impacted by, by, by this. Uh, of course, uh, the main uh, antag antagonism uh, is antagonism between Antigone and Creon. Uh, Antigone is a heroine and rebel. Uh, she, she, she actually rebels against this macho world that wants to up uphold the state laws. State laws say that traitors shouldn't be buried properly and she she wants to bury her, her brother. The Zizek thesis is uh, in fact different that, that she's part of this elite and uh, all she wants is uh, to bury her, her brother, not, not the, the, I would say, anonymous soldier. Uh, and she, she in fact, when she fights for this uh, laws of gods, uh, she acts like today's right-wing fundamentalists. And that, so th th these are the comparisons that I was trying to draw. Uh, but in the end, I think people always see different, look differently at the same uh, processes. So th I don't know, maybe the, the uh, most uh, obvious one is uh, to the footage of uh, proclamation of Catalan uh, independence. Uh, I think many viewers can s uh, read this scene in a different way. And well, it, so I think this is what, what I wanted to do with the movie so that the uh, spectators can then decide and rethink uh, their own uh, views, point of views on what's going on today in today's world. Before we continue with questions, I forget to put stress on the fact that uh, the viewers, uh, online viewers of this debate can also enter this debate with questions. So if you have a question uh, or a remark, you can add it here into our debate in two ways, either in the system you have Q&A uh, Q option where you can directly write your question and I can repeat it here or uh, there is a possibility to raise your hand uh, electronically and uh, I can invite you to talk uh, directly here in the debate. So just not to forget this. Uh, I'm 
repeating this uh, option for the viewers. And uh, I, before it happens, I continue with the questions. Uh, in, uh, in your film, there is an incredibly diverse uh, uh, foundings in uh, European or world uh, archives, mostly public speeches uh, and sometimes speeches which probably went uh, in a kind of on everyday basis, not so much reflected and you succeeded to to, to take really very interesting moments of uh, sometimes very official speeches, etc. Uh, can you say how was how you were working with with the archive and what was the layers of your work? Was it first uh, this kind of staging uh, Antigona in this outside space, and then afterwards you went through? And where, where, what was your resources? Did you work with? Uh, researchers or was it your own research watching hours and hours of these public speeches how did you cast the ideas or was it also kind of opening to some random processes mm, I actually uh, I really did first reenactment uh, this uh, we shot the the, the drama uh, and then uh, I went into editing and this mm -hmm. editing lasted, well, I guess a year or something. And uh, in fact, in the process of editing, uh, I was searching for uh, this web archive stuff. It's, uh, as I said, all, all the footage that is used in, in the film is really uh, on the internet. It's mm -hmm. still there. Uh, you just have to browse and find it. There are just uh, two footage that doesn't exist anymore. That they are just in a movie. One is the Catalan independence mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, declaration. Uh, it's uh, because uh, I think uh, Spanish uh, government it succeeded to uh, yeah, raise it. Yes, to erase it. But, uh, well, we got uh, permission from Catalan uh, Parliament to use it, although they also don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. So I guess the, the only footage that there is around now is in the movie. Uh, and the other one is, uh, uh, well, protests of uh, Sweden extreme right, which was also taken down, I don't know by whom, I guess by the uh, the, the org organization of uh, these protests. So, uh, uh, well, uh, in, in, in a way, the editing was writing a script for the second time. So the, when, when, we, when I tried to try to put together the, the uh, Zizek's Antigone three endings. Uh, I was looking for comments in the real world, in the nowadays world, but also in, I would say, artistic world. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the very important is uh, for me, Kurt Kren, for example, mm -hmm. and uh, also. Uh, the, the post speech that combines uh, all this. Uh, well, I don't know if this, that answers your question, but uh, anyway. yeah, I, I I was asking how basically how what was what was the work with with, with the archive? If, yes. uh, yeah, because uh, it's, it's, the, the, this it's is very authorial. I would say that you it doesn't mean that you hired a researcher find no. me this so it's really a for real kind of it's like my uh my it was really my work uh i'm well i'm historian by profession and i was a long time journalist and editor and uh this kind of uh politics and stuff is still my passion so uh yes uh that was how we did it uh and uh, well, in the end, the, pro the biggest problem in the end was 
detecting who owns the rights for mm -hmm. this footage because mm -hmm. they're all over the internet but uh, nobody is claiming the the well who 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 who, who has the rights of uh, copyrights and did you it's a it seems to be a technical question but did you succeed to clear everything because for festivals yeah. Usually yes. the festivals don't ask it, but maybe yes. for televisions it's very important. Yes, it's very important. Uh, yes, we did, and it's uh, well, it was really painstaking uh, work. But uh, yes, well, in the end, I, I think we got them all. Yeah, it's good to mention because also uh, filmmakers are watching these debates, so maybe it's a good, yeah. good, good for inspiration. Yesterday, uh, I was also moderating one debate on purely archival film, and we were also uh, talking to another reference to Harun Faruqi and to, let's say, connection uh, with, uh, let's say, uh, artistic and educational dimension or didactic dimension in a way that yeah. that in uh, that nowadays authors uh, uh, of uh, documentaries mainly dealing with some kind of history or this authorship means that you are finding kind of not only let's say bringing new facts etc but also bringing new way new ways how to read the 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 footages and the evidence which is around us but this evidence has kind of blind spots and uh, uh, also you are finding the form which suddenly which is in a way uh, complicated intellectual yeah, because it has many layers and uh, perception for example for people who don't read Sophocles or who don't have this context it might be kind of difficult so you are addressing basically intellectual or let's say more cultured uh, audience on the other hand it allows really to rethink suddenly nowadays world how are you thinking about about the form uh, did, did you have, because you said you had an initial script and the editing yeah. was as if rewriting the script. What yes. was, what was, how, how it looked, the initial script and how it was uh, transformed into the film? Yes, well, the initial script really was dealing with the, the um, I would say, references to uh, Zizek's uh, Antigone, to Sophocles' Antigone, and to what I anticipated uh, Slavoj would uh, comment on. Uh, we spoke a few times before uh, we shot his interview, so I, I kind of expected what, what he was uh, going to say. Uh, and, well, I know his work, so... Uh, He's, that was in a way quite clear. Uh, the, the, my problem was in the beginning how to present this uh, Sophocles, Antigone, and three and other two Zizek endings because that that's what uh, I think it's the basics to understand everything else. Uh, so the that was the my. In the beginning, my main uh, preoccupation, uh, exactly what you are saying. Even even people who, of course, read Antigone, know ancient Greek drama and so on, uh, they don't remember everything. They don't have these details in their head. So. I, I kind of try to reenact this uh, crucial part so that uh, anyhow the, the viewing of the film would be easier. Not the, I, nobody wants to torture the viewers. Uh, so, of course, you cannot uh, do that so thoroughly that uh, well, film would not uh, demand some kind of intellectual strain, but. Uh, I think, I hope that now it's, uh, when it's finished, that uh, maybe viewers can watch it and uh, have their own associations, even if they are not that familiar with uh, the, the original Antigone, uh, Sophocles Antigone, let's say. Uh, 
everybody of course can understand the relation between traitors and state laws and uh, I, I would say this divine aspiration for uh, universal ethical laws uh, and in the end the question is what what the position of the people is this uh, chorus that represents uh, the, the common people the, the, the people that uh, in the end have to i don't know say well yes Antigone is right, Creon is right, or take their own position. So th this is, in fact, the, 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 I would say, mm, the relation of today's people. The, do they want to say, well, do they want to vote for right-wing fundamentalists or uh, stay at home, be passive, or do something or support, let's say, this bureaucratic, uh, lethargical politics. Uh, so you, all, all, these, all, these, all these things were actually in the script at the beginning, but then the, 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 the real search for uh, footage uh, and how the, the, the film was put together, that all happened uh, with editing. For theater, for, for the still is a, maybe I would ask yet, because you are mentioning basically uh, this dimension ordinary people, did, it, did you want it to put stress on it by the fact that you placed your uh, this uh, theater reenactment into kind of uh, ordinary urban space of contemporary urban space, but on the other hand, you transformed it black and white. We have, I don't know, especially Sophocles drama, we know from very different approaches. Pasolini tried to also make hyper-realistic version, but in an, as, if, as if in a kind of his, um, not like in times of uh, Sophocles, or there are also some reenactments which are contemporary. Can you comment on this staging into very specific space? Yeah, there, there are so many reenactments of Antigone. You, you, nobody has seen them all. Uh, but uh, yes, I, I wanted to put uh, the these actors in an uh, environment that is almost universal. Uh, I think this uh, location can be found anywhere in the world, actually. It's uh, urban, suburban, uh, and I, I kind of wanted to give an impression that you, you do have the, the, this small community that uh, is actually encircled with the this uh, living space uh, skyscrapers and this 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 skyscrapers actually represent the walls of the city so th th this is just small mm, i think you can find such spaces almost in every bigger city all over the world uh, Police doesn't have anything to do there. They're uh, self-governed practically, and uh, so I try to put this uh, in very this environment to make it uh, very universal and modern. But uh, at the same time, I, of course, I wanted to keep the uh, theatrical, uh, very uh, I would say. Brecht-like, uh, strict uh, acting and everything is, is it's very theatrical because uh, the, 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 the text is theatrical. Uh, I didn't want to change the, 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 the lines that, uh, I don't know, Zizek and Sophocles wrote. That was not the intention. Uh, so. In the end, it's a mixture that was an idea. It's a mixture of 
drama and modernity. So the, mm -hmm. th that's why I've chosen this black and white approach. I think that even stresses more the, the mm, this point of dramatization of mm -hmm. antique. And on the other hand, it makes a very clear difference, visual difference from the footage of documentary archives that, that are commenting the, the, the story. And mm -hmm. I also put Zizek in this black box environment with very strong mm, white uh, face that's not, so this just his face is speaking it's like i want this uh to have this um effect of uh i would say ancient greek philosopher statue or something mm -hmm. so this is this was visual approach from the beginning yeah the the, the film has very very i was uh, uh watching it several times just to to feel if it, if I'm wrong or no, but I, for me it has very ironical ending, kind of when the when the uh, this astronauts coming back to this Earth where we see all these happenings and they are so happy to to be back on the Earth. <laughs> Can you comment on this funny archive uh, in the end? Yes, and then well, I, uh, I I didn't want to follow. Zizek's drama by the book. It's like, and I, I really, uh, that's why in the end I uh, juxtapositioning by Lacan and uh, Lacan and Zizek is uh, when I think that is very important so that uh, we do keep some kind of uh, distance to uh, revolutionary ending of uh, Zizek's play where uh, this uh, people's uh, court, uh, court marshals, uh, everybody and but then, then of course the question is what, what's next? What do we do afterwards? And um, well I think it's important that I'm, I'm very glad that I found this uh, old uh, East German pop song uh, that uh, goes like, there's no guarantee for happiness in life. And it's, uh, and, but, and of course it's uh, sang in a very happy, happy way. Uh, so yes. Uh, from space, we must look very small indeed. I'm addressing again the, view, the viewers that there is a last chance to um, enter the question because we are approaching these uh, plus minus 30 minutes, uh, which are set for the debate. Maybe before, if something not happening, I would still ask if, uh, Maybe, but it is. It is. Uh, it it was not shown anywhere yet. I guess the film is. Uh, no. So it's really first uh, meeting with the audience. And do do you do you plan, for example, uh, at like in Slovenia, something like theatrical distribution, or how how do you plan to interact with the with the audience, like at least in your environment? Yes. In, Internationally, it's clear that it's festival film, but yeah. Uh, well, I think it's festival film. It's also TV film, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, it was shot uh, for uh, cinema. And uh, in in these circumstances of uh, pandemic, I, I don't know. Uh, how to, when it will be, how it will be. Uh, we have uh, discussions with our distributor and with cinemas in Slovenia, but uh, in Slovenia now cinemas are closed, mm -hmm. theaters are closed. The same. We don't know when they will open, so it's very hard to plan anything. Uh, 
my preference as i'm thinking now would be uh next summer <laughs> to view it outside uh, on the big screen because uh, big screen uh, it it was made for big screen and uh, it uh, adds to uh, to it uh, well i think the size of it. once Maybe, maybe let's conclude a little bit more widely. You are historian, uh, intellectual, dealing with many issues. This COVID crisis, do you see any new, except of what is bad on it, which we clearly see, do you see some challenges for things which maybe were not changeable and suddenly it happens? Do you see some chances for mankind in what we are living now, right now? Actually, yes. I think that uh, this crisis, as probably every crisis does, uh, amplifies everything. It amplifies the, 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 the bad things and the good things. And uh, I think it will amplify the rebellion and in, it will amplify basically everything. So uh, is that good? Uh, well, it can be. Uh, but uh, we will have to do it ourselves. I don't know. Um, if we look at uh, Poland today, I guess there is hope. Okay. So thank you very much for, for sharing your comments and thoughts on the film. And uh, uh, I hope it will be interesting for the viewers uh, who watch the, the, the film later, however they cannot join this debate. Thank you very much and uh, good luck with everything. Thank you and good luck to you. Yeah, goodbye. Bye.